In our timeline, the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction was a firestorm from the heavens. But what if the end didn't come from above? What if it arrived on the microscopic scale? We are initiating simulation 402. The scenario. A lethal, cross-species superplague. A great mortality sweeps through the dinosaur kingdoms. In most realities, this is a silent genocide. But here, life pushes back. Witness the evolution of the ultimate immune system. This is not just survival, it is a biological arms race. The simulation reveals the fever walkers. Creatures like this at Montosaurus have adapted to maintain a permanent, high-intensity body temperature to incinerate pathogens from within. In the predator-prey dynamic, the plague becomes a weapon. This pack of Deinonychus has developed a symbiotic relationship with the virus. They don't just hunt with claws, they hunt with a breath that is toxic to the unadapted. Even the giants have changed. The long-necked Alamosaurus now grows sacrificial plumes, specialized feathers that trap parasites and shed them before the infection can reach the core. These survivors are no longer just animals. They are walking fortresses of genetic resilience. They have traded the purity of their old world for a brutal, beautiful symbiosis with their own killers. The Great Resistance proves that life does not just find a way, it evolves a shield. But if the plague couldn't kill them, what happens when these bio-titans eventually face the asteroid? What, what if simulation do you want to run next in the Paleoverse?